when you're using Mac's built-in screenshot tool to take specific screen captures of specific UI elements, you use the command or the shortcut keyboard, shortcut command, shift, four, then you get the crosshairs, then you use space, right, space bar, then you highlight the UI element, and then you use your mouse to click, and then it takes a screenshot, right? Now, this doesn't work right now because I'm recording a video and unfortunately then my screenshot tool doesn't work, which is annoying, but I took a couple of screenshots of this system preferences window a few minutes ago. And if I actually go to my folder here, you can see my, I'm just gonna delete this one. You can see I have two screenshots here, both of my system preferences window. Now, notice the difference, right? When I flick through these, this one has a drop shadow and a bunch of surrounding space, which is really annoying. And this one does not have a shadow and it also doesn't have that surrounding white space. But also notice something else. Notice the difference in file size. This is insane, right? The, the default one here with the drop shadow and the spacing has 661 kilobytes. And this one is like half that size at only 351. This is insane. There's no reason to use this by default. I don't know why that is how it is uh, out of the box, but I'm gonna show you how to change this. So I wrote an article about this earlier, about the exact same topic. And uh, there are a couple of ways you can remove this, uh, this annoying drop shadow. So, oh yeah, I also wanna show you this. So if I, I can show you a side-by-side -side comparison, if I just minimize this window, look at this, right? This is with the uh, default shadows enabled. And this is without, right? Look at the difference. This one actually pushes down my UI element, my text element, right? So it interferes with my layout, which is really annoying, right? Now, if I actually right click on this and I do inspect, I'll, I can show you how much space this adds. So look at this, look at all this surrounding space. It makes no sense. I mean, the drop shadow is not even the biggest problem here. It's actually the surrounding added white space that just, I don't know why it's there. It makes no sense. So now I'm gonna show you how to disable it. So you took the normal UI element screenshot by doing command shift four with the crosshairs. Then you select the UI element. Again, I cannot do that right now because I'm recording, but then you select the element and then you hit your mouse to take the screenshot, right? You will left click on your mouse. Now, to remove the borders, all you have to do is to do the exact same thing, but right before you hit, uh, right before you click with your mouse to take your screenshot, you also click on your Option or Alt key. So the command is exactly the same as with with the shadows and the white space, but you just also click the um, the Option key or the Alt key on your keyboard before you click with your mouse, and then you're gonna get the screenshot without that annoying uh, white space and 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 the box shadow. So. Um, yeah, that's how you do this manually. So now you can sort of decide maybe you want for some reason to sometimes have the box shadow or the drop shadow and maybe sometimes not. Now you can do that manually on off, right? Now, if you want to permanently disable this and uh, this nuisance, then this is, this is what I have done. Uh, you can actually use this command inside your terminal to permanently, quote unquote, t permanently turn off the uh, drop shadows. So you open up your terminal, right? You, you copy this command. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box down below for this. Um, you open up your terminal, right? And if you don't know how to do this, you do command space bar, and then you can just write term and it's gonna pop up and then you can just hit enter to open it. Okay, so now you are going to paste this code or this command inside here and hit enter, right? And it's actually very descriptive. It's It literally says, that it, it disables the shadow uh, on the screen capture tool, right? Very simple. Now, to make this take effect and, and work, you have to add this command as well. Kill all system UI server. It sounds way more dangerous than it actually is. It just means let the settings or let the new settings uh, take place, right? So I'm gonna run this. And now, from now on, you no longer have to use the um, the Alt or Option key. You can just use the the uh, this one to take screenshots and now you are going to get them without the drop shadows and without the spacing. Um, so yeah. And if you regret it for some reason and you want that annoying drop shadow back, you can just reverse this by just copying the opposite end, right? This is true and this is false. So if I do this, oops, and then kill all system UI server again. Ah, not server, like this, yeah. Now it's going to reset it to the default settings and you are going to have your lovely drop shadow and annoying space and huge, gigantic extra file size back to the default, uh, which I don't see any reason for doing this. So yeah, uh, this is just one of many things that really piss me off about how Apple products work out of the box. This just makes absolutely no sense. It really annoys me. Now, I, um, I hope this um, has been helpful. 
And if it le if it has, let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.